Java 14 has a lot of exciting language features for us developers. Records, pattern matching for instance of, text blocks, and switch expressions. In this screencast, I'll cover how to use these features in IntelliJ IDEA. Let's get started. Imagine you need to store data for a person. This should be simple. Create class person and add instance variables, say name and age, to define its state. Use Alt insert on Windows and Linux and caret n on Mac OS to generate code for this class, like constructors, getters and setters, and methods like toString, equals, and hash code. But how would any other developer know that this class is just a carrier of data without reading all the code. Shortening code by deleting methods is not a good approach. The class instances would not work as expected with collection classes. Let's see how records can help by introducing a new type declaration in Java 14. To create a record in IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1, invoke the new Java class dialog box and select record preview feature in the type. Fill in the name of the record and define its components. With just one line of code, you get to define a record person with two components, name and age. Java 14 features are supported in IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1. Access the project settings by using Ctrl Alt Shift S on Windows and Linux and command semicolon on Mac OS. Use JDK 14 as your project SDK and choose the project language level as 14 preview, records, patterns, text blocks for your project and module settings. Starting with IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1, you can also download the JDK from within IntelliJ IDEA and configure it. When you compile a record, instance variables and methods are added to it automatically. Let's view the decompiled class to find out what these members are. Open the project window by using Alt1 on Windows and Linux OS and Command1 on Mac OS. Go to folder Out and click on person.class to open it in the editor window. Person is defined as a final class extending java.lang.record class from the Java API. For each of the components of the record person, the compiler defines a final instance variable name and age, a constructor and methods to string, hash code, and equals are also generated automatically for records. The name of the getter method is the same as that of the data variable. It doesn't start with get or is. Since a record is supposed to be immutable, no setter methods are defined. You can instantiate a record by using the operator new. Don't miss the parameter hints when you are passing values to the constructor in IntelliJ IDEA. Let's call the implicit methods which are defined for a record, like toString equals hash code and retrieve value of its components. You can also use the record before defining it. When the code doesn't compile, choose context actions using alt enter and select create record. IntelliJ IDEA creates the record for you and you can add the components. You need to follow a couple of rules when you work with records. A record can implement interfaces. You can also add static fields and instance or static methods to a record if you need them. Let's talk about what it can't. It cannot be defined as an abstract class because it is implicitly a final class. It cannot extend another class since it already extends the java.lang.record class. You can't add any instance variables to it. The state of a record is defined by the components 
you have in its definition. You can modify the default constructor of a record to say validate its parameter values. IntelliJ IDEA lets you insert a compact, canonical or custom constructor in a record. A compact constructor doesn't have a parameter list, not even parentheses. A canonical constructor is the one whose signature matches with the record's state description. Let's define code to check the parameter values passed to this constructor. A custom constructor lets you choose the record components you want to pass to the constructor of a record. Going back to the canonical constructor, by invoking context actions in IntelliJ IDEA with ALT ENTER, you can easily convert a canonical constructor to a compact constructor and vice versa. After editing a constructor, if you end up without any additional code, IntelliJ IDEA can detect it and delete it for you. You can also add annotations like NOT NULL to record components. In this case, when you instantiate this record with a NULL value, you would get a warning. Writing a record to a file and reading it using the Java file IO API is simple. Let your record implement the serializable interface and you are good to go. By using this code, you can write record person to a file and also read from it. You can refactor a record modifying the order or type of its components or their names. Add new components or remove existing ones. IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1 introduces a simplified approach to apply rename or change signature refactoring. Let's change the name of the parameter name to full name. As soon as you change the signature, this icon will appear in the gutter. Click to apply the changes. These changes would refactor the record and reflect in all its usages. Pattern matching for instance of makes code safe and concise by introducing a pattern variable. In this code, instance of operator checks where the reference variable obj is of type string. If the result is true, it defines a variable s and explicitly casts it to type string to access its method to uppercase. We have an obvious repetition here. Compare obj with string, then cast it to string. Let's see how pattern matching can help. In IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1, invoke context sensitive actions on variable s and select replace s with pattern variable. This removes redundant code by introducing the pattern variable which binds to variable obj. So you don't need to define another variable or cast it to another type. Pattern variables are final local variables that are declared and defined at the same place. Pattern variables have limited scope. If you try to access it in the else block, you will get an error. Though it could be confusing, but you can define else as a field in this class. Now, S in the else block refers to the field S and in the then block refers to the pattern variable S. The simplicity of pattern matching might be deceptive. Let's see how we can simplify this equals method. Let's start by replacing other with a pattern variable. Now, let's simplify this if statement. Let's check if we could further improve it. Yes, we can by choosing to replace if else with double ampersand. Various existing intentions work out of the box with pattern matching in IntelliJ IDEA. For this example, let's start by introducing a pattern variable. Now, let's simplify this if statement by replacing if else with double ampersand. At the end, let's apply the same intention again 
of replacing if else with double ampersand the real strength of pattern matching for instance of lies in how you can use it with various other intentions in intellij idea in this example let's start by merging nested ifs next replace letter node with pattern variable for nested if here let's apply merge nested ifs again now replace the loop with collection dot remove if and at the end inline the variable list the code now looks concise simple to read and understand let's see how you can simplify a code block which has multiple occurrences of instance of to look for places where you can use pattern matching for instance of spot usages of the instance of operator and explicit casting of variables in this example let's start by introducing a pattern variable then merging if statements followed by inlining of a variable introducing pattern variable again and finishing off with merging if statements this looks neat doesn't it if you don't need the pattern variables you can inline them with inline pattern variable refactoring use the shortcut control alt n on windows and linux and option command n on mac os after you do so all its usages would be replaced with explicit casting let's see how extract variable refactoring works with pattern matching with instance of if you extract a variable from a cast expression and intellij idea detects that there were instance of checks before then instead of creating a new local variable it just converts the instance of to the pattern release with java 13 text blocks let you define multi line strings easily without any clutter this json value needs a lot of concatenation operators or escape sequences so that it can be stored as a string not any more with text blocks in intellij idea you can easily convert a string to a text block by using alt enter to invoke context aware actions and choose replace with text block this code is so easy to read for detailed coverage on how to use text blocks refer to our previous video and blog java 13 and intellij idea in this screencast i'll cover changes to text blocks in java 14 that is addition of two new escape sequences by default text blocks add a new line character at the end of a line in java 14 you can suppress it by using the backslash also the spaces at the end of a line in text blocks are removed to insert them you can use this escape sequence with switch expressions java 12 enhanced switch statements now it can also be used as an expression that can return a value this is the old switch statement which you can convert to the new switch expressions the new format is concise it doesn't has a default fall through you can also define multiple constants in the same switch branch also it can return a value from a branch by using yield for more details on how to use switch expressions please refer to our previous video and blog java 13 and intellij idea we love to hear from our users don't forget to submit your feedback on support of java 14 in intellij idea thanks for watching